The first way to set up dual SIM in the S24 Ultra is if we open the SIM card tray, I'm just going to open this one now, on some models you should have two physical SIM card slots. So this is the first stop and if we flip the tray we have room for a second. You will have two physical SIMs if your phone was bought when it was unlocked and it's not locked to a carrier. So you can see one SIM and then second SIM and if we just put the SIM card tray back into the phone we should see that we have two SIM cards set up. However there is a problem. What if you don't have two physical SIM card slots? Well what you can do is this. So we're just going to open settings and head to the home page of settings and you should see this one connections from here you will see sim manager and in this you can just add eSIM so eSIM is a version of the sim card but it's not physical so if you have an eSIM already just tap the add button and then OK, and then we can just add the eSIM. If you do not have an eSIM, you're like, what is this? Well, just call your carrier up and just ask them to convert your physical SIM into eSIM, and then they'll give you an email with a QR code you need to scan. So this is how the QR code should look like. To those concerned that I'm leaking my SIM card, this QR code has expired, but you just scan it with your phone and you can see plan already in use. So, you know, you can't steal my SIM card, right? But if you uh, did not use the SIM before, it would ask you for potentially a confirmation code, which you would get in another email. Not all carriers will require that. And then just follow the on screen instructions, and that second eSIM will be added. You can either have two eSIMs active, you can have one physical SIM and one eSIM active, or two physical SIM cards active. You can actually add more than two eSIMs onto your phone, but only two of them can be active at once if you have no physical SIM cards installed and one eSIM can be active if one physical SIM card is installed. And you will just tap on your eSIM and then you can deactivate or activate at any time. Hope this helps.